Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Come on in, make yourself at home. Today I'd like to kick off with a quotation from Shane Claiborne who said, We should live in ways that don't make sense without God. God's people look strange in a rebellious and fallen world. He may have been borrowing from another thinker called Madeleine Longley, if that's how you pronounce it, who said, To be a witness is to be a living mystery. Our lives should not make sense to others if God did not exist. Profound sentiment. In other words, to be a true witness to the world, we need to build our lives on the basic premise and assumption that God is real and living and active, present and at work in the world. We need to put all our chips on him coming through and coming good. We need to gamble on God. And that's how we witness to the world that we truly believe he's real. And that, as Shane Claiborne points out, is going to make us look strange because people think that's crazy. But Jesus, in the passage on the Sermon on the Mount that we're looking at today, points out that the opposite is true. It's crazy to invest in the, in the world, to build all our assets up and build our career on earth rather than build a career in heaven. He says this, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But build up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Jesus is saying the same really as Shane Claiborne and Madeline Longley when he says, Make your investments in God. Buy all your shares in heaven. If you have a stock portfolio, a share portfolio, um, make sure they're all on God. They're all with God. All your investments are with him. Don't have a contingency plan on earth. Make it about God. And people on the earth will think that's really crazy, really strange. Goodness, you need to have a, you know, your mortgage and your, your career on earth and some finances put by just in case. But actually, the life of discipleship is to put all our eggs in the God basket. And the world might think that's crazy, but actually Jesus points out the opposite is true because all our worldly investments ultimately are perishable. Rust causes them to tarnish. The moth will nibble away at our fine garments. Thieves can break in and steal. And ultimately our legacy will go to some stranger we've never met. Actually we want to invest in the kingdom and, and we can enjoy that investment in eternity with God. Do we really believe that? Are we living as though we believe that? something to think about today, challenging to me, challenging perhaps to you today too.